these are some beautiful Australian rainbow trout, and we'll get onto them in just a minute. But they don't take as long to cook as our vegetables, so that is where we need to start. We're going to grab ourselves some onions, celery, eggplant, tomatoes, and capsicum. And we're going to grill them over a barbecue, because this sauce we're making, it's called caponata, has the most wonderful smoky flavours. Use just the tiniest bit of olive oil, give them a toss, and put them on to cook. What you're looking for is just a little bit of blackening. That's that char flavour we all love. Plus, the veggies should be tender. It's that classic barbecue flavour. Veggies smell absolutely amazing. At this stage, you want to grab yourself as much garlic as you can handle. I'm going with eight cloves worth and get them sliced up nice and finely. Pop them into a saucepan with just a little bit of olive oil, some thyme leaves and rosemary leaves, and that cooks for only about maybe a minute and a half until it's aromatic. That is one of my all-time favourite aromas. It's brilliant. Make sure you have a little bit of sherry on standby or chicken stock if you want a non-alcoholic version. You need to pour that in before the garlic burns. Meanwhile, roughly chop up your veggies and pop them into the saucepan. The whole thing's going to need to simmer for about 20 minutes. What about the fish? Well, for starters, you need to prep them correctly, which means taking a pair of scissors and removing all of those fins. But when it comes to cooking itself, let me show you something that I reckon is guaranteed to be new. In your local Bunnings, you're going to find some of these. They're little cedar planks, and it's a very traditional way of cooking seafood in Scandinavia and North America. You just soak them in water for a couple of hours first. That'll stop them from burning. But also it means that when you cook on these, all the aroma of the timber comes out. The aroma of cedar, well, it's kind of... If you've ever been in a sauna, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I don't mean the sweat. I mean the good timbery smells. And that's going to be infused with the steam right into the fish. It tastes and smells incredible. You just arrange the fish directly on top and then a small drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. That's all it needs. Now, these can be arranged straight over the hot grill. You need about 12 to 15 minutes to cook through with the lid down. Ah! Oh! It's like magic. A quarter of an hour later, you have perfectly cooked trout, just succulent and absolutely delicious. So we spoon some sauce onto the plate, get your fish on top. Then we're just going to finish with a little bit of basil and some lemon. I mean, this is light, colourful, healthy and delicious. I really love rainbow trout. It's a wonderful, delicate, sweet and beautiful eating fish. Best of all, it's a good price and it's available year round all over the country. This one, I reckon, is perfect for Easter.